He's in a coma. I'm sorry, but your fiance's injuries are severe. And we don't know if or when he'll wake up from this coma. I know this is very difficult for you to hear, especially given your condition. We'll do everything we can, but we can't make any promises. I have to go now. Again, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Greg, baby. Please, wake up. We're going to get married. And I love you. I need you. Our baby needs you. Our baby needs a dad. <laughs> Emily, I am so sorry. I don't understand how someone so good can, can get rammed by a car and, and the police haven't found any leads about the culprit. Uh, he just, he was coming back from helping in the soup kitchen. Uh, we need to have faith. He can still get better. Greg is strong. I'll get us both some tea. It'll do us some good. Thanks, Mary. Todd, why are you here? Poor Emily. I heard what happened, so I, I came to offer some comfort. Uh, thank you. I, it might not have worked between us, but I always hoped you'd end up happy. You barely even noticed me when we were together. Hey, let's not talk about our past now. I, I came to offer some comfort. I heard you two were engaged. Can't imagine how it must feel knowing he might not make it. Don't, don't say that. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Of course he can make it. I'm, I'm sure he will. Uh, I guess this is a bad time to try to cheer you up. I'll leave you to be with him now, but I'd like to take you out for coffee tomorrow. To at least give you a break from your pain. I can't. I have to stay by his side. I can't. It won't help him to torture yourself, Emily. The best way to help him is to, to keep your morale high. Please, give yourself some time to breathe. I'll pick you up tomorrow for coffee. Not for yourself, do it for him. He wouldn't want you to torture yourself day and night. All right, all right, you're fine. Tomorrow is fine. Thank you, Todd. I'll see you tomorrow then. And again, I, I, I'm so sorry. I hope everything will take a turn for the better. Emily, was that Todd I just saw? Yeah, he said he heard what happened and he wanted to check up with us. Emily, don't take this the wrong way, but I wouldn't trust him. Do you remember how he treated you when you two were together? Like an object. How did he know about Craig being the victim of a hit and run? Why is he back now? I don't know, Mary. He came back for support. I would do the same for him if I knew he was hurting. If you say so, but I would keep an eye out. I would avoid meeting with him in any case. You love Craig. Stay true to yourself. Top puts on airs, but I don't believe he's nice now. It's, it's like they say, all that glitters is not cold. I, I just agreed to meet him for a coffee tomorrow, just to take a break from crying. Emily, I know he's rich and successful and, and good looking, but you can't trust any of that. Just promise me I won't listen to him too much. Uh, do you want to sit at this table? Sure. Here, let me get that chair for you. Thank you. So, how is Greg doing? Not. Not much better. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I invited you here to give you a break, and here I am reminding you that he may never wake up. I'm sorry. I'm sure he'll get better soon. This is all so much harder because I'm pregnant, and now I'm worried about a baby growing up without a dad, like, like I did. Well, I can understand why you'd want someone reliable, successful, and caring to be there for you and your child. I love children. 
I bet you didn't know that about me. Uh, before we order, I wanted to give you this. I, I, I don't know if I can accept anything. Oh, nonsense, it's for you. You deserve pretty things, especially now. I want to give you everything until you feel better. It's just a gift, Emily, to you, from someone who cares about you being happy. All right, if you insist. Todd, this is too much. And you deserve so much more. There we go. Now, how does a latte and some cheesecake sound? Or whatever you want. It's on me. I thought I'd find you here. Where else would I be? You've spent every night here since last week, haven't you? Well, yeah. You have to watch out for yourself, Emily. Just because Craig's future is uncertain, that doesn't mean that yours has to be. I mean, you shouldn't stop yourself from living. Don't say that. Well, wouldn't he tell you the same thing? Greg wouldn't want you to spend sleepless nights torturing yourself. Wait, what do you mean? That I should give up on Greg? No, no, just you shouldn't let him get in the way of your life. I thought he was my life. No, no. Emily, listen. Excuse me. Uh, maybe I should take some home. Of course. Poor Greg. She has no idea that I'm the one who hit you with my car. There's a little dent in the hood, but I won't blame you for it. You got what you deserved. And now, I'm gonna get your girl. And you're kidding. Your kid is gonna have my name. I always get what I want. Always. I don't care who I have to run over in order to get it. No goody two shoes Greg is gonna stop me from getting what I want. I need to get that. Oh, no worries. I came here to see how you both were doing. Listen, I'd like to take you out for dinner tonight. My treat. Oh, that's not necessary. Please let me. Come on, I'll take you to my favorite place. Everybody's gotta eat. Well, I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do, and no one knows when he's gonna wake up. Hey. Come. You'll feel better once we step out. Will that be all? Yes. All right, I'll come back with your food shortly. This place is so fancy. You see, you feel better now that we're out of that hospital room. It just stirs up some emotions. Trust me, no one can feel good in that room. Now, the question is, how long do you want to stay locked up in that room? What do you mean? Emily, he's never going to wake up. Some people go 30. 40 years in a coma, even if it's five years. Do you want to spend five years in that room with him? He's, he might wake up. He will wake up anyway. I'm just being realistic. I'm trying to look out for you and your baby. I can be the father figure your child needs. I still love you, you know? Wait, what? I thought you wanted to cheer me up. Because I love you. Break off your engagement and come live with me. You don't even know if he'll live. I can give you everything you want. I can be the dad you want your child to have. If Greg wakes up, he might have amnesia and forget who you are. He might be paralyzed. He might take so long to heal from his injuries that you didn't need to take care of him. Wait, what? Are you ready for that? Are you ready to clean him after he soils himself? What? Yeah, 
You might need to clean him after he soils himself. I never thought of that. This is all too much for me, Todd. I'm sorry. I have no, to go. Wait, I'm sorry. Please stay with me. Have dinner. I'm sorry. I have to go. You know, normally visiting hours are over, but I'm glad to make an exception for you. I was just headed here anyways. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mary? Yeah, sorry. I was just out with Todd. He, uh, he invited me to dinner. Dinner with Todd? Oh, Emily, didn't I say that wasn't a good idea? Yeah, well, he's been great support. He made me feel a lot better. Emily, I know something is off about him. He mistreated you in the past. People like that don't change. <sighs> don't generalize about people, Mary. Todd has made it clear. He's there for me because he cares. A guy like Todd cares only about himself. You and I both know you love Greg. Have faith that he'll get better. I know it's hard, but sometimes all you need is faith. Follow your heart. Remember. All that glitters is not gold. I'm sorry, I can't talk anymore. I, I have to go. Emily, don't act impulsively. Emily? If you want, I, I could teach you how to change his diapers and take care of him. When he wakes up, there's a big chance that he'll rely on your help because he won't be able to do it on his own. Emily chooses to leave Greg to be with Todd. At first, everything seems wonderful. They go out, and Todd gives her expensive gifts. Emily soon moves in with Todd, and they make plans about raising a family. Soon after, though, things start to go wrong. Todd gambles a lot and loses. Unable to pay their bills, their possessions get repossessed. Emily has to take care of their newborn baby and everything else, while Todd takes to drinking. Todd drinks so much that he's unable to hold a job and can't support his family. Todd becomes abusive and yells at Emily while she needs to work two full-time jobs just to pay the bills. If you want, I could teach you how to change his diapers and take care of him. When he wakes up, there's a big chance that he'll rely on your help because he won't be able to do it on his own. Follow your heart. All that glitters is not gold. I'm sorry, I can't accept this. It doesn't feel right. Thank you. It would be helpful if you could show me how to take care of him properly. Okay, sure. So first step, uh, you should have your wife's, of course the diaper, and then when Emily chooses to stay with Greg, life becomes better quickly. Baby, are you are you waking up, Greg? Oh, no. Come on, can you please check on him? I think he's yeah. waking up. All right. Oh my God. Pulse is good. Oh my gosh, baby. Vitals are good. Greg, please, please, 
from your way. Follow my finger. Okay? Please tell me about and if you can hear us, blink twice. Please be Greg wakes up from his coma a few days later. Greg receives a huge insurance payout, which not only covers his hospital bills, but gives them enough to set up a secure investment fund. Greg goes through physiotherapy and quickly recovers from his injuries. Greg recognizes Todd as the one who hit him with his car, and Todd gets arrested for hit and run. Emily and Greg move into a nice home, where Greg showers Emily with love every day. Do I stay with Greg? Or do I leave him for Todd? Good night, darling. And what are you going to do? I have an early shift at the restaurant tomorrow, so there isn't much time left to work on my project. Are you still doing it? Nobody's gonna invest in it. Don't be so pessimistic, I really believe in it. Okay. Whatever. Good night, love. Night. Oh, darn it. What is it? Breakfast in bed. Mm. Maybe pigeons will like it? I'm sorry, love. It's all I had in the fridge. But once my project takes off, we'll be eating breakfast in Paris. Stop talking about your stupid project! How can you ever be successful if you can't even make breakfast for your girlfriend? But once my- <sighs> Just stop it. Stop it, okay? Maybe we can meet up for lunch? I don't think so. I might have plans. Okay. Come on, dude. Hey. Do you have some spare money? I need to do some shopping today. Sure, babe. Are you crazy? What am I supposed to do with this 20 bucks? I guess you will never understand what love really is. Babe, please, give me some time. Once I'll finish my project, I'll buy you anything you want. Why can't you understand? Your project sucks. It will never succeed. God, that was close. Hopefully no one's gonna see me in this junk. We'll have a luxury car soon, I promise that. Once I Once your project, blah, blah, blah. I know, forget it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, you went shopping. Where did you get the money? I have my own ways. Never mind. Look, we've been together for a while now, and I was just thinking, maybe you are the right person. Maybe we truly belong together. Because I feel like I would give everything to you. I think I just love you. Monica, will you marry me? <laughs> no way. Is that your engagement ring? With this tiny diamond? That's not even one carat. Look, sweetheart, I want to give you everything to please you, but you just have to believe in me. Once my project is done, I- oh, Okay, stop it right there. Let's get one thing clear. Your project is never going to be successful. Get over it. Julian was right, you're just not good enough for me. Who's Julian? My boy. 
It's just, uh, I finally found someone who can satisfy my needs. But, but I gave you everything I could. Well, it was just not enough. It seemed like everything he did was just never enough. And so, Monica left Anthony for someone who can satisfy her expensive needs. Meanwhile, though still betrayed and heartbroken, Anthony somehow kept faith in himself and found the strength to continue to work tirelessly. After exhausting nights of working on his project, he became very distracted and made a mistake, which, as we shall see later, was the best mistake of his life. A couple of days later, Monica wanted to surprise her new boyfriend Julian with an unplanned visit, but instead she saw Julian's true face. And since then, life's been going downhill for her. Anthony's life, on the other hand, was starting to change for the better. His business idea was approved by investors, and he could finally quit his job and start living the life he always dreamed of. Monica! Anthony, so nice to see you. You look great. Thank you. Is that your car? Well, yeah, it turns out my project went quite well. Wow, great. Um, look, I feel really bad for what I've done to you. And I feel like I never actually stopped loving you. What about your new boyfriend, Ju? Julian. We broke up. He was, um, doesn't matter. I had a second thought about the ring that you gave me. Oh, it's really here she is, Lucy. Let me introduce you. Lucy, this is Monica. Monica, this is Lucy. We used to date a few years ago. Oh, nice to meet you. Hey, I didn't know you had a new girlfriend. Oh, you meant fiance, right? Oh, yeah, Anthony proposed to me while we were in Paris. It was the most romantic breakfast I can imagine. I even told him not to spoil me so much. Well, I want you to give everything this world can offer, sweetheart. Thank you, baby. Uh, so let's get some lunch. Could you give us your best table? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't understand what does she have that I don't. Well, it's simple. Ever since we met, I have never felt guilty giving the best I could for her. She had my back when I was working endlessly on my project. She offered her car when mine completely broke. She has been visiting me every lunch at work. And when you left me because I couldn't afford diamond big enough, she was by my side, waiting patiently until my business took off, and I could finally get her the ring she deserved. Lucy believed in me when I was at my lows, and now that I made it to the top, I'll give her everything she wants. So, can we have two ladies in a menu, please? Yeah, sure. Hey, Billy. <coughs> Mr. Peterson! No, Mr. Peterson! No, 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 Mr. Peterson! Philip! Hey, Gabriela! Listening! I'm... I'm so sorry. Your father just died. Can you hear me? Finally. I'm so sorry for your loss. How was the funeral? The funeral was extravagant. Like this whole life. Where's your brother? No! A new car is just amazing. Oh, I know. And soon enough, we'll have enough money to buy for it fully. Oh, 
Maybe we could get a new car for Edmund too. Sure. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be cooking? Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm going to the kitchen straight away. I'm starving. The funeral was long and boring. The food better be ready in 15. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's almost done. Sit there. You shouldn't be here. My father always regretted that affair. There's no way he's leaving anything to a child born out of wedlock. Unlike you, I am here for the family, not the money. He was ashamed of you. You're stupid if you think you're getting anything. Don't bother, Michael. She won't be here long anyway. You're right. You can stay, sister. Gabriela, let me help you. No, it's okay. Can I help too? Yes, please. If you could take this to the kitchen, please. Thank you. Oh, God! It's disgusting! Gabriela, where are you going? Eat of us. Our family doesn't eat. With servants. Michael. Gabriela was like a family member to our dad. She cared about him more than you ever did. All you care about is money. Miss Lorenzo was working. For him. She was the only one by dad's side when he died. It, it's, it's, it's okay, Alice. I'll, um, I'll, I'll eat in the kitchen. Michael, you're... Looks like no one wants to listen to you ranting. You know what's weird? You're Philip's daughter. You don't seem to get any of his good qualities. The lawyer is here. Oh. Well, shall we then? <laughs> Thank you. Just so you know, these are the last seconds of yours in this house. You're out as soon as this house becomes ours. But Mrs. Peterson, I have no other place to go. That's not our problem, is it? Gabriella, thank you for everything. And I'm really sorry for my brother. But all of this will be over soon. He will get the money and we will find some other ways to survive. I tried to find a new job. It's really not that easy. Mm. I know, but don't you worry, okay? I will help you out until you get back on your feet. Really? Thank you so much. <clears throat> I'm here today to read out the final will of Philip Peterson. Oh, do we really need to do this? We all know what it is going to say. <clears throat> I, Philip Peterson, being of sound mind, declare this document to be my final will and testament. I leave my house, all my valuable collection, and all the profit I made from my company to Miss Gabriella Lorenzo. It's going to be true. You! I know what you did. You little. I didn't, I swear I didn't. I, I had no idea he's gonna leave everything to me. Ah, no dear, no dear. Little girls like you would do anything. I didn't, I swear. You are lying. Gabriella, darling, I'm 
very sorry for the way I treated you. It was just a really stressful day, you know? And I just wanted to make sure that everything goes well. Now, you know how hard Michael worked to make his dad proud, right? So it's just, it's just really not fair that our family doesn't get anything. And Edmund, he's gonna need money for college. Uh, so, I'm so, so sorry. I, I'm, I, I can't. I'm Gabriella. Gabriel, look, I always liked you. I only married my wife to make my dad happy. If you agree, I will divorce my wife and come to live with you. Here. What did you tell her? It's not your business. It is my business because now we're broke. So you better find a way to get money from that girl. Capriella, I think that's the best decision my dad has ever made. But what should I do now? Whatever you decide, I'll support you. Gabriel, don't listen to, to my sister. She just wants to take the money from you. But if you share the money with us, I promise, I promise, I, I will take care of you. You can stay and work for us. And I'll even be generous with your salary. But if I keep the money, I don't need to work at all. I made my decision. I'm keeping the house and the money. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, let's, let's go. And it would be an honor if you, Alice, stayed with me. With your daughter, of course. I'll share the money with you. And you can live in your childhood home. But you don't have to do that. I want to. You're the only one who promised to help me in a difficult situation. And you never cared about the money. And you always treated me like family. Family is always more important than money. Very well, Miss Lorenzo. Come to my office tomorrow and we'll deal with all the documents. Gabriel, please, please, please. Tell me what you'll think about. This can be your last decision. Come here, please, please. Hannah? We had a deal. You promised me money. You promised I'll never have to work. And now you have nothing. You're completely in debt because of your new stupid car. So I'm gonna take my child and I'm gonna go. Hannah, wait. We can figure it out together. There's no together. You're gonna be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> you! You ruined my life. You took away my family. I'll take care of it. Come on, Mike. Are you okay? <sighs> it's over now. It is. Come. I'll show you your new room.
Hi guys! Did you like the story? Do you know an even better story to tell? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe we'll use your idea in our future video. If you want to keep up with our releases, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish a new, original story every week. See you soon!